In an effort to expand STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, Cumberland County Schools, RTI, Dream Up, ETI, and the U.S. Space and Rocket Center have teamed up to create the Starward STEM program. This was a grant funded by the Department of Defense STEM. RTI was really interested in this program and they approached Cumberland County because of our large population of military students and because of our diverse population. The main goal of the Star Wars STEM program is to inspire the next generation of STEM experts. And the way we're doing that is through providing students with what we call star experiences. Those experiences are what we literally call stars, something they'll always remember. And so star experiences might be doing a really engaging project in class where students get to engage with engineers and scientists, or it might be getting to go on really interesting field trips in the community to see how uh, engineering and science is used in the Cumberland County and uh, Fayetteville region. Space exploration is back up and running and the kids are given opportunities that they would not have had otherwise. So through this project as an example, I was able to make a connection with an actual doctor who works directly with the astronauts and their bone health and density, and he met with my students. I don't think that we would have gotten that opportunity otherwise. So it's a lot of connection making, it's a lot of real world experiences, um, and the kids are involved in hands-on learning. The program focuses on space as one of DOD's modernization priorities and aims to combine the wonder of cutting-edge scientific discovery with real-world applications that ignite students' creativity, critical thinking, and problem-solving skills. Each year, the program will culminate with a student design challenge that will send winning projects to the International Space Station for experimentation. We, we decided to uh, experiment on the planet Benici because it's a strong plant that can create medicine to help people on Earth and or astronauts. Uh, we're working on making biofuel mostly made of corn so that we don't ruin the atmosphere of the space and the Earth. Knowing that space has no fungi or insects to help matter decompose, if we send healthier um, biofuels like corn to the International Space Station, we could see how it can react. My favorite part was that we got to use different materials to see which one worked better for planting carrots. The thing that we're hoping to learn from these experiments are what the students want to learn. We, we challenge them to ask the questions, what makes space hard? And then what do we need to solve to make space more inhabitable for humans? And based on the questions that they ask, we're hoping to learn some real science from them because they're acting as scientists in this program. The Starward STEM program isn't only for the students. Teachers can have star moments as well. To participate in the cohort, 90 teachers were selected via an application process. As part of the program, teachers will attend a teacher STEM day to meet with their industry partners, attend a five-day summer institute for project-based learning training, and learn how to implement the design challenge. They will participate in school-based on-site PBL coaching and enrichment activities throughout the school year, design and implement two PBL units in their classroom, and finally, they will participate in a Starward STEM design challenge with their students in the upcoming school year. What have I personally learned? I feel like a kid <laughs> and I'm learning along with the kids. I have learned that kids still want to learn. They still want to do things. Um, they get excited about stars and space and going up to the moon and then to Mars. I think it's a great question to think about why should we invest in STEM? Why is the federal government investing in STEM? Why is the Department of Defense investing in STEM? And why are regional partners investing in STEM? To me, there's, there's multiple answers to that question. I think probably the number one answer is that we live in a complex world and there are complex challenges that require teamwork, creative thinking, and creative problem solving. And to help students learn how to become the problem solvers of tomorrow, they need to be engaging with real world problems in the classroom today and collaborating with STEM experts today. And that's what this program is doing. It's inspiring the next generation of STEM experts by having students do real science with real scientists and seeing the impact of that learning on the community. There may be a student here today who wins this design challenge that is going to participate in a, or be employed in a career that hasn't even been created yet. To learn more about the Starward STEM program, go to the website, www.ccs.edu.
www.k12.nc.us forward slash Star Wars STEM.